Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, Thank you, colleagues. Uh, Senate Bill 1248 is uh, before you. It was a uh, it was CEQA process that held up uh, our recent floor vote on the Exide cleanup of uh, lead matter. Uh, once Governor Brown dropped his opposition to a CEQA review, President Pro Tem de Leon provided urgency legislation and we moved forward. Uh, my concern is with CEQA lawsuits where we don't know who the plaintiffs are. Uh, a recent headline said, Kern County Citizens for Responsible Solar filed a CEQA lawsuit which held up a 150 megawatt solar power project. It turned out that this organization was deemed fake. It was formed by labor unions who were forcing the builder to sign a project labor agreement. Colleague CEQA was designed to ensure that the long-term protection of the environment, consistent with the provision of a decent home and suitable living environment for every Californian, shall be the guiding criterion in public decisions. It fails when even the smallest of irrelevant lawsuits with ulterior motives can delay or stop the building of homes and businesses in our communities. A recent study showed that about half of CEQA lawsuits are on taxpayer projects with no business interests. On CEQA lease for CEQA lawsuits targeting construction projects, 80% of them are on infill projects. Plaintiffs who challenge projects under CEQA typically file kitchen sink complaints that include every conceivable legal theory or cause of action that could provide a basis for a judge to set aside a project. In many instances, plaintiffs may organize under an umbrella group to remain anonymous in their litigation as to not be identified in the process. Your chairman, Senator Wykowski, was just in front of my committee, Governance and Finance, working on infill projects. Um, so this is a critical need, especially in his district. Instead of using CEQA as leverage to extort our law-abiding business community, Senate Bill 1248 would require that all involved plaintiffs and contributors be identified. The owner of private property should have the right to confront his or her accuser. Transparency is a hallmark of good government. This bill would prevent those who seek an unfair business competition advantage or have ulterior motives from improperly hiding behind a California Environmental Quality Act to, blo to block a project through litigation. Simply, this bill would require full disclosure of all participating parties in CEQA litigation and re remove anonymity from those who file under the pseudonyms of unincorporated associations. This bill will also require disclosure of any party that has financially contributed to CEQA litigation, as is required in attorney fee motions and amicus filings and similar to campaign finance disclosure laws. We have transparency in those areas. This abuse impacts municipalities as half of CEQA lawsuits target taxpayer-funded projects. The most commonly targeted are transit systems and renewable energy projects. CEQA was not planned to be a tool for bullies. Colleagues, let's discontinue a bad practice. Let's make California more business friendly. It's about disclosure and transparency. Let's make a dent in the perception that California is too litigious. I urge a no vote. I have uh, support from the Western Electrical Contractors Association, <coughs> Associated Builders and Contractors, San Diego Chapter, Air Conditioning Trade Association, and Plumbing, Heating, Cooling Contractors Association of California, and I do have witnesses in support. I urge an I vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair.